in this movie, we're going to get right into it. We're going to model, as you can see there, the Spider-Man spider. This probably takes several videos, but we're going to go with this slow. And as you can see, I've done had, went ahead and brought in my reference here, and I'm working in my front, my back view here, and my camera view here. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a polygon object under objects. I've got it set to P, and I'm going to hit P, set it to quad strip, and I'm going to go in here and begin roughly modeling this out. So you guys just bear with me the best you can. Because this can be boring. I don't know if I can actually be able to talk to you the whole time I'm doing this. Um, but we're going to do the best that we can. So let's model that in there like that. And now this kind of stuff takes some practice and I'm not really the best at it. Um, this is just me goofing off. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot better methods to go about doing this than what I'm doing here. But this is the way I'm going to do it. This is the way I'm going to show you guys to do it. As you can see, I'm just modeling these polygons in here as I need to. If it cuts me off, I'll just hit the P key and start another polygon object. I'm not trying to be real accurate because we can go in and add more geometry later if, if need be. Okay, that looks good enough. Let's go ahead and start our next polygon object here. Our next row. We'll do this arm. Actually, I'm going to go on out this way. Like this. And come on up to this arm a little bit. We've got that one there. So let's continue on with this one. Now this is not a problem. I can go in and adjust this, all this good stuff here later. I can weld these points. I'm leaving a few of these points separated so later in the tutorial I can show you how we go about welding points together. Let's leave that like that. Let's start on our next one here. Now see we have a backwards normal. I wanted to show you guys if you get a gray box that we can fix that too. That's not a problem. So I'm going to do this whole leg like this so I can show you how to fix this problem if it occurs. I'm trying to be as thorough about this problem solving as I can be. Let me hurry up and get through this because I don't want to run out of time. Like so. Okay, now let's escape out of this. Now, as you can see, we have this really rough half of our model. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my point mode. And I'm going to go in here. Actually, what? Let me go into my polygon mode. I'm going to show you how to fix all this. So let's go to our polygon mode. See how we can select these polygons here. These, these ones that are black. I'm going to select them all, right-click, flip normal, and that'll make them right again. So now I have my weld command set to my D key. Let's go into my point mode. And I'm going to go in here and start fixing these points by welding them together. Okay, now it looks like we got most of my points welded together. Okay, and I went in with my ring cut and other tools and added some geometry. Just, you know, cut some geometry in there. Now, as you can see, we have our basic shape. So, I'm going to go into my point mode now. 
and we're going to start manipulating these points to fit. Okay. So this is going to be a slow process too. So we just sit back and grab a Coke or something. I'm sure this is going to take several parts. go through like this and this is the basis of modeling like so let's grab our points our vertices rather you may a gurus out there who look at cheetah and probably think it's laughable but let me tell you what it's modeling abilities are right up there with everything else including Maya actually I guess I could show you what it looks like couldn't I before we go this is where how far we've come As you can see we've got our spider modeled I still need to go in and tweak some of the feet here and stuff and I may do that and I may not it just really depends on time and what I'm really looking for here. Okay, guys, we're back. I went ahead and mirrored it. All I did was just um, right-clicked, went to mirror, and just mirrored it over. It's the only thing I've done since last time. So now I can get rid of this blueprint, blueprint if I want to. Um, so let's remove it. Go to our polygon mode here and now we have this basic spider okay so now let us polygon I'm going to select everything and what I'm going to do is Catmill Clark subdivide well no I'm going to extrude first well, let's extrude here so now that we have a little bit of an extrusion let us go ahead and make sure I have everything selected. Let's select an area select and draw on our box over it again. And let's Catmill Clark subdivide that. Now we got a lot of polygons and we can really go in here and mess with our spider as you can see it's got a lot of definition here all I need to do is go in and finish welding up some of my points here so things fit right up along the middle I've been modeling on it a little bit in between editing sessions to get these little contours I guess I could show you guys what it looked like rendered out I cut off the, the um, thing and didn't even render it for you so there we go there's our I had to clear my cache out and stuff my render was causing problems render my renderer was causing problems here but anyways now you can see we have our spider man spider if any of y'all want this obj object um, file let me know and I'll email it to you they're really small but but there you go we went through the process of modeling the spider man spider on Spider-Man's chest and this is what we ended up with. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you next time.